welcome back to trucking with Velox 18. <laughs> That's right. We dropped the California. We left it. Love you, Golden State. Have fun, everybody out there. Love you guys. But now we are here in the volunteer state, ready to make a new life. And today is the day that we're going to get our first load out of Tennessee. And uh, we're going to run it down to North Carolina. So I'm excited. A little bit excited. A little bit nervous. A little bit anxious. You know, it's all new. It's all new stuff. All new stuff. But before we get started on that, I got to tell you guys that today's video is once again brought to you by DriveWise PreClear, the app on your phone that allows you to bypass scales, thousands of scales all over North America. And uh, they're going to save you time, money, and uh, fuel. So that's where the money comes in. Uh, $18 a month. It ain't nothing. It, it's, it's the easiest bill I pay every month. My favorite bill I pay every month, $18. And uh, it allows me to bypass all these weight stations that just, they kill my soul. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know what I mean? So uh, anyway, there's a link down in the description. You get 30 days free. Click on that link. Try out DriveWise. Uh, and uh, they're going to continue sponsoring videos uh, for the remainder of this month and next. So uh, the intros are going to be, uh, you know, brought to you by DriveWise. And you guys just got to deal with that. All right. All right. Uh, this, uh, this truck right here is warming up that reefer. I actually had to uh, put a battery charger on it, and it shows that um, the, uh, the the alternator is working. It's getting 13.8, uh, 13.9 volts right now to the battery while it's running. So uh, I may I may have an issue with the battery, but we'll replace it at some point uh, on the road if we need to. Uh, but for now, it's running. We're gonna go pick up this load, and uh, we're gonna get on our way. But first, we gotta roll the music. Things got a little hectic there when I was leaving the house. I started taking off and uh, my ELD started beeping and I realized that I was leaving my my phone that I run my ELD on at the house. So my my little uh, my little plug-in over here on the on that's plugged into the, the dash started beeping at me like hey you don't you're not connected bro you're not connected and then I realized we've been using my uh, my hotspot, which is on that phone as well, uh, we've been using my hotspot at the house because we don't have internet yet. So uh, I was driving off without my ELD, and that's that's no bueno. So uh, yeah, had to reverse on my road, which is a 55 mile an hour road. It's a it's a it's a back highway, and uh, so I was a little a little sketched out about it, but we got it done. No one got in any accidents or anything. Uh, there's some quarries down here, and uh, so we get some dump trucks that haul butt on this road, man. They they get it. They get it down this road. So uh, anyway, uh, it's not like busy, but it's, it's definitely a fast road. So uh, so anyway, got that squared away. That was exciting, exciting as we left the house. But uh, we just got to get uh, 11 miles away. 11 miles away and we'll uh, I think I'm I think the route I'm going is probably 14 miles because I'm gonna get over here to the uh, four-lane highway and then kind of go through town um, I think that'll work better for me than trying to uh, go through oh here's one of those dump trucks I was telling you about look at him getting it getting it oh, he wasn't going that fast oh but that that curve right there will get you I bet he was slowing down for that curve uh, anyway uh, yeah, we got about 14 miles to go because I'm going to go, instead of running an even narrower two lane than this to get into town, I'm going to run the four lane over on this side. Uh, so it's kind of a long way, but what's three miles, you know, when, when, uh, when you got, it's just, it ain't no thing, man. It just ain't no thing. But, uh, yeah, I'll catch up with you guys when we get over there to, to the pickup. All right, this is a uh, General Mills load. They were doing some, some construction back there. So it kind of uh, kind of a little bit tight, but um, oh, that's a little bit of a little bit of a mess. I was gonna spin around, but uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna spin around anyway. Why why blindside if you don't have to? You know what I mean? You know what I mean, Burn? 
Uh, I wish it would have let me come in this way because this makes a little bit more sense to come in, but whatever. Tandems, open the doors, back it into dock 75, and uh, you got a completely uh, contactless check-in over here. It's actually kind of cool. I like it. You want you go up to the gate, you text, and then they uh, they text you, and then you text them, and then they they tell you what door to go to, and uh, they open up the security gate. So. It's been a minute since I've packed into the dock. Which is why I'm over here. Fiddle farting around on it. I'm glad there's no trucks connected to the trailers next to me though. That'd, that'd be even harder. <laughs> oh man. Take, take a couple weeks from bumping docks and all of a sudden it's like I just lined up completely wrong I mean not completely wrong but it, was, it wasn't I wasn't like wasn't lined up good that's for sure that's for sure but uh, alright I'm going to go back there pop these doors open Just so we're clear on this uh, Murfreesboro uh, cold storage here, interstate cold storage, I think it is, something like that, interstate um, warehousing, I think is what it's called. They want you to be on the line on the left side. I've told you guys that before. Some places, they got the line they want you to be inside of. Other places, they want you to be on it. They want you on it here. We got the red light pretty quick. They came out to check the temperature and the fuel and uh, they're loading me up, so shouldn't take too long. Dirty truck getting loaded, let's go. All right, they're loading me up, but uh, man, we, uh, we showed up on one of the hotter weeks of the summer. Uh, it was mid 90s, mid 90s and, uh, and obviously the humidity. But uh, a little bit warmer than last summer when I came out here. Last summer I came out in July, and me and Miles kind of went all around the South, from you know Tennessee to Virginia to um, North Carolina, Alabama, Mississippi, and uh, this is hotter than it was any of those days that we were you know driving around out here last summer. So. The, uh, the people who told me, oh man, you're going to hate the humidity. You're right. It sucks. But, uh, eh, it's only, it's only for a short time. It's not like, uh, the California summer that just keeps going on and on and on and where you get worn out about, uh, I don't know, a month into it. You're like, all right, I'm ready for cold weather again. And you got like four more months of heat, <laughs> but, uh, yeah. This is uh, this should be a pretty decently heavy load. It's supposed to be forty-two thousand and some change, and uh, we're going over to North Carolina, so we're going to be going up over some hills. So uh, should be good. We'll stay on forty um, all the way to like Raleigh, Raleigh, North Carolina, and then um, and then drop down to Clayton, North Carolina. So we'll see how long this takes uh, to get loaded. But like I said, they're already. They're already doing it. It's already probably halfway loaded, give or take. So, shouldn't be too long now. All right. It is, uh, we're finally loaded. And it's just after 12.30, so it took a couple hours. Uh, they text you, they, they send you a link. You sign your paperwork uh, online on your phone, on the link. 
and then you come over here to the scale and you gotta scale out. This load is 3,500 pounds heavier than what uh, Coyote said it was. They said 40,000 and it ended up being 43.5 on their paperwork. So uh, I'll pull on the scale and we'll see how we scale out. I set my axles to the same way that I always set it when I have a heavy load and it's usually good as long as they loaded it correctly. So we'll check and see right now and see what happens. All right, so we're, uh, we're overweight on our trailer by 1,340 pounds. So we'll have to slide the tandems uh, back a little bit. So I do got a little bit more weight on the back than I usually do. Let's go uh, talk to the intercom. We'll pull off, we'll adjust, and we'll come back on. We slid the tandem back. Try and get less weight on the uh, on the trailer tandems and more weight on the drives. Uh, there's only like thirty thousand pounds on the drives, so we got plenty plenty of uh, weight to distribute to there. But it just, it kind of stinks because, uh, you know, I got to have my my trailer uh, tandems slid further back to, to evenly distribute the weight. And, uh, well, that just, it, it makes tight turns a little more difficult. You know, it off tracks a little, a little farther. Uh, you know, it's just a little harder to get around. If I have any tight turns or anything, I gotta go on. It's uh, it's a little bit, a little bit different, a little bit more difficult. But uh, I'll run back on this scale and we'll see what we can uh, see what we can see. Says to grab a ticket, but I don't see, I don't see a ticket. All right, first load out of uh, General Mills, Murfreesboro. It's a YoPlay uh, storage facility here. YoPlay yogurt, and uh, shoot, ready to hit the road, Jack. This road kind of bends to the left, and I'm so heavy, I don't know if I want to pull out on this red. I guess I should. Ain't nobody coming, but oh, as soon as I do, a car comes. Ah! Uh, it was flipping the light for me right as I did it anyway. All right. <laughs> uh, that's, that's, that's how it always works. You're like, I'm going to stay here and be extra safe and you're like uh, I guess it's not unsafe I'll do it as soon as you go to do it the car's gonna come around that corner that's just it's just like that the uh, purge valve on the air compressor up there by the step as soon as you step out of that truck that purge valve is gonna go off it won't have gone, gone off for an hour as soon as you step out of that truck it's gonna spit dust all over you It's inevitable, but uh, yeah, we're gonna hop on uh, Interstate 24, go north. Uh, we'll, we'll go around uh, Nashville on uh, 840, and uh, we'll end up catching uh, Interstate 40 up there by Lebanon. Take it over there through the hills, Crossville, Cookville. Up over uh, Knoxville, it uh, it should be should be 
good, man. Should be a good little run, good little trip. Heavy load to take up over the mountains, but that's why it's paying okay. We can talk about the pay a little bit later on. Uh, I don't mind talking about the, the numbers in the new market. All right, let's, let's see what we got. Let's see what we're working with. But uh, try, to, try to see what we got going on, but shoot, I'll catch up with you guys down the road. Uh, it's hot. I'm excited to be moving so I can get the air conditioner really pumping. And uh, yeah, man, we'll just we'll just fast forward this thing, fast motion this thing all the way uh, all the way to East Tennessee, and then Virginia, and then North Carolina, folks. Let's do this. Oh no, no Virginia this time. That's right. I'm not going to Virginia. I thought I had to go through Virginia, North Carolina. I I don't know my way around here, guys. I don't know my way around here at all. We're gonna be. We're gonna be doing this together. Together. It's a, uh, yeah, I don't, I'm like, wait a second. 40 just goes straight into North Carolina. I had to go up 81 last time to go up to Virginia when me and Miles were out here last summer. So that's right. Should just go straight into North Carolina. Radio tells me that uh, that just like I don't know, a quarter mile ahead of us, maybe a half mile ahead of us, there's a uh, there's an accident. Car, two cars got into it, tangled up. Glass, metal, windshields on the roadway, and uh, there ain't no getting past it. Uh, then another driver came by and said, it "Looks like some people are skirting around on the shoulder, but." That probably won't last very long. Whenever the uh, emergency vehicles get there, they'll they, they'll use that area to, to uh, you know for them to stay there. They won't want uh, cars and trucks squeezing by them while they're trying to save lives or whatever they're doing. So we might be here a little while. Let's uh, I don't know. Just chill out. <laughs> Keep the AC going. Uh, Anyway, we'll see. Uh, let's see how long this takes. Hopefully, it's not too bad. Hopefully, no one's hurt too bad, and uh, we can keep on trucking. Ooh, it's a pretty good one. Pretty good one. Looks like everyone's okay. Everyone's out of the vehicles. This is some uh, weaving around through here. Pretty good. Uh, I was told that on the CB radio that the uh, the Trans Am was the one uh, uh, weaving through traffic back there coming up the hill. So uh, luckily, those troopers were still letting us roll through on the shoulder like that. It's not really that safe, but they didn't want to they didn't want to block up the whole road for it since it seems like uh, everyone came out okay on that. Uh, pretty rough accident though when you look at it. A lot of lot of twisted metal, a lot of broken glass. Hopefully uh, injuries aren't too uh, significant. May have some bumps and bruises or broken bones, but uh, there was no uh, no ambulance or you know blood anywhere or anything like that. So I think we're good. I think I think I might leave that one in the video. Normally I don't show you guys accidents because I don't like uh, I don't like glorifying the kind of the, the, 
the destruction and, and really just the, the death that happens on these roadways. Uh, I don't like to get clicks or views on someone's uh, someone's passing. That just isn't my style. But this one, I think I'll leave in there. It seemed like everyone was okay. And uh, well, we got through it. it. Took us about 20 minutes, but we got through. And uh, now we can kind of now we can kind of continue getting on our way. We've got uh, I don't know probably another uh I, I don't even want to say how many miles because i have 21 miles until i'm going to stop and get some, something to drink uh at the uh, at the, the pilot so that's that's what my uh, gps is set for so i don't know exactly how many miles i have after that to get to uh where we're stopping tonight but we'll uh we'll get on down the road that that, that was uh um, that was unfortunate unfortunate but it uh, looked like everyone was okay. Alright, we made it into North Carolina. And uh, I realized I've never actually been on I-40 in North Carolina because last time I did split up into Virginia on uh, Interstate 81 and um, and uh, so last time I didn't come down this way we shot down like 77 into Carolina uh, last time from uh, from like Blacksburg Virginia I had someone throw up uh, a sign that said hit your jake brakes and uh yeah i was a little i was a little uh well you know embarrassed truckers winding road next 16 miles 50 mile per hour safe speed yeah we've been we've been doing 50 miles an hour since we crossed into uh north carolina that's the uh that's the speed limit so for trucks guess we'll keep doing that for the next uh, little while but anyway this uh, this little stretch of road is cool I like it getting through the mountains here and uh, you know they're not the they're not the Sierras definitely not the Rockies but these are these are cool I like them I'm digging it I'm digging it Now they're dropping it down to 40 for the work for the uh, construction zone. All right. All right. Sorry. Had to figure out what they're trying to do. They had all the signs turned to the shoulder, so I guess that means they're not they're not working right now. So we can proceed as uh, as normal. But this guy's going fast. He's going a little faster than what said to go uh, anyway all right I'm gonna let him pull away from me cuz I I uh, I'm happy just to sit back and follow the rules you know <laughs> but uh, all right we will uh, catch up with you guys down the road all right we're getting off right here at Ha River we're in uh, Graham, North Carolina. We're about an hour and 15 minutes away from our delivery tomorrow. And uh, man, there's trucks lining the uh, on-ramp. Hopefully there's room at this truck stop. One of the two, there's a Flying J and a Pilot right across the street from each other. So. We'll We'll make the rounds and see if there's somewhere to park. If not, we'll go on down the road. There's another pilot down the road. It has even less parking than these two, so I don't know. We'll find somewhere to fall at night. There might be room on that off uh, that on ramp right there. Uh, <laughs> if not, <laughs> uh, but we uh, we had a, had a good day of trucking. Trying to uh, to see what 
Right ahead. Trying to see if this pilot has, if I can see some, some parking spots available, then I'll just jump in there. If not, the Flying J has more parking. I think I'll start out at the Flying J. Let's do that. up with you guys after I do a little loop-de-loo around here. All right, we found some spots back here in the back. Look, there's a bunch of spots. Uh, but the guys on the other side are taking up um, more area than what their spots are designed for. So I'm sticking out a little bit on this side um, up here, which uh, doesn't look like it because everyone's kind of doing that, but we're quite a bit off uh, from from the lines that are drawn. So uh, anyway, just kind of one of those things. Um, reefer's holding good. Uh, haven't shut it down yet, so we don't know how the battery's doing, but I don't plan on shutting it down, at least not for a few days, because we're going to have load after load. And uh, we're going to try and keep things rolling. Uh, we're back to work, but we're uh, it's all new, man. It's all new out here in uh, the south now. We're, we're running all new lanes uh, and, and there's just so many options. So many options. I mean, I know there was options in California and, and I mainly I was the reason why I couldn't run a, a lot of those options, you know, the Northwest and all those. But, um, but now I feel like, man, there's even more, there's just so many lanes, man. So many lanes. Uh, I'm just gonna be doing, just seeing what, seeing what works. So we're running down to Carolina, and then from Carolina we got another load booked for tomorrow. So you'll have to tune into the video tomorrow to find out about that. But yeah, we're 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 just gonna be seeing seeing how uh, we can make the the most of our miles, make the most of our time away from home, and uh, try and get home as much as possible. So that's my uh, that's my criteria for how I'm gonna start trying to book loads, and I'm just gonna be figuring out as I go. Um, you know, I can pick up some stuff from guys who uh, have been on YouTube for a while that uh, I can go back and watch some videos about how they book their loads and stuff. But the fact is, I got a reefer and the guys I've been watching on YouTube, uh, you know, for a long time run drive-in. And some of the reefer guys maybe don't share as much uh, as far as the money and stuff or where they got the loads and all that kind of stuff. So uh, anyway, we'll figure it out. Uh, I'm excited for that part of it anyway. That's kind of the fun for me is building, uh, you know, building the route and figuring out the best way to do things. I don't know. I, I like I like having fun with that and uh, running the load board and seeing, you know, what, what load I can connect to which load and how I can get from one market to another and make the most money. So uh, it's kind of a fun game. Uh, but this is where we're going to cut the video off. Um, and uh, it's warm out here. It's uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be a long night. I can feel it. But uh, yeah, we'll get this video edited up, posted in the morning, and then uh, we'll do it all over again tomorrow. Uh, love you guys. Peace out. See you on the next load tomorrow.